For more family content like vlogs, activities, challenges, and more, make sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of new videos. Hey guys, welcome to Logan Family Videos. It's Scott and Shannon, and today... It's just the two of us. Yeah, we're celebrating our 13th wedding anniversary coming up next. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So we're at Panera Bread, and, uh, and basically what we're doing today is the second day of an anniversary celebration. Actually, our anniversary was yesterday, but we went to the beach, and it was a big public beach, and we were gonna do some vlogging, but then sometimes, and some of you guys who are vloggers out there know, some memories are just best left for the, just the two of you. And that's kind of what yesterday was about. We just wanted to put the camera down and just kind of hang out with the two of us on the beach. My mom watched Ellie, Mimi watched Ellie, and today we're doing day two celebrations. Shannon got a couple days off for, for the whole thing. So, yeah, and we also didn't want to leave the camera on the beach when we went in the water. So. That was other, the other <laughs> big thing. that We just bought this camera, it's too expensive. We didn't want to risk it just leaving it alone on a public beach. So today we're bringing it with us just to capture some of the memories. Uh, right now we're kicking things off with a Panera Bread breakfast. Uh, so Shannon got a scone, right? Yep. Is that an orange? Orange, orange scone. Orange scone. I got something called the cobblestone, which Shannon told me is kind of like monkey bread. It looks bread. like a monkey bread kind of thing. Yeah. With cinnamon and... and then we're sharing this four cheese egg souffle. We're actually just gonna pick at all of this and just kind of share it. And then we were thinking of going bowling for a little bit mm -hmm. at a place called Round One. Uh, which just opened up at our mall, and they have, it's, it's like a Dave & Buster's, it's basically a big adult arcade. Um, so they have like bowling and pool and arcade games and stuff, so Shannon thought, thought we both thought it would be kind of fun to go bowling today for a little bit. I think we're gonna go see the new Mr. Rogers movie, and we also have a gift card to the Olive Garden. So basically it's just food and fun all day long, and I can't wait any longer, I wanna dip into this cobblestone. Mm. It's really sticky and, oh my, I, I'm opening up the cobblestone. I actually don't know what, what's all in here, but it looks like there are baked beans in the center. So now I'm like really grossed out by it. <laughs> I think it's I think it's like apple maybe. What I do you think? Know. We'll find uh, out. Uh. My first so, egg souffle. What do you think? Mm, really good. Um, yeah. I like the softness of the middle and the crunchiness of the pastry. Yeah. It's kind of like a pastry on the outside. The, yeah, it is. It's like perfectly flaky and the egg is really light and fluffy. It's good. You know, this Panera place is pretty good. They ought to open up a couple locations. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. That would be a great idea. How is your, what's it called, cobblestone? Cobblestone. It's, yeah, it's pretty much pull-apart bread. It's like a cinnamon, crunchy, glazy yeah. pull-apart bread. It's really good. You should try some. I will. Mm-hmm. Okay, hopefully right now I'm not having to drown out all this copywritten music playing in the background. We may have to. Uh, you know what, we're not monetized anymore anyway. So, we are at round one. We just got here, and this is kind of a new experience for us now. I'm not sure if round one is a national thing, if it's in other malls across the country. We were just saying that it sounds like a gym, not yeah. like an arcade place. Yeah, because where, where we're at right now in our mall used to be a sports authority. And so, if you didn't know better, you would think round one is like just the New sporting sports, goods, yeah, something. sporting yeah. goods store. But so it, it's got bowling and arcade and karaoke here and billiards and there's food and Wait. oh look, I just happen to be reading from the wall. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's all these cool things and we're here during the weekday, um, kind of like off peak time, so <laughs> yeah. all the prices are cheaper. And this is like a so, kid's Vegas. Yeah, because we're you gonna, can, we know we're gonna go bowling. We might check out a few arcades. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna check out the food today because we have Olive Garden gift cards. So. Yeah, and we just ate at Panera. Right. I'm feeling still kind of full. Yeah. But, so, but a lot, I, I still and this place out. They have an escalator, which is equally as exciting. Oh, how here. cool! And I, I, have, a toddler, I have scoped some things out about this place before, and like I said, it's basically like a kid's Las it's Vegas. It's like, uh, like get a shot of this. So like when you walk in, it just seems so epic because it's like these massive stairs. Yeah. Like, wow, this place is huge. And now you walk up into a place that's a never-ending money pit. Right. And uh, and it's also you can try to win stuffed animals out of a claw machine that you're never gonna get. Yeah, right. Alright, let's go check it out, guys. Alright guys, we 
are here. This place is crazy. And uh, I think this is gonna be a really quick way for us to like blow a bunch of money. Let's go check it out. So I was just thinking, do you remember the last time that we actually went bowling? It's been a few years. Yeah. Oh, it was for Nick's birthday. Like four oh, years. okay, Nick, yeah. Yeah, our dear friends, the Molders. Yeah, that was the last time I went bowling. <laughs> Most people don't know who the no, Molders are. That's not true. But that's you know what? what? People don't know who the Molders are when we say Nick, yeah. but they were on our vlog once. Here they are right here. Guys, I wanted to introduce you. This is Anne, and everybody, leave your comments down below and say Happy Mother's Day to Anne. <laughs> and uh, here's Carly hanging out with us, and there's Larry, and and here's Nick. And that was the Molders. And that was the Molders. Okay, let's get bowling. Okay. This is really cool. I'm serious, I'm putting my hair up and everything. Oh, and you this. You often see me with my hair down. Yeah, that's true. Usually it's like the mom do, where Usually you have it up really me. high. Thanks. Yeah. What? It is the mom do. You take your hair and you move it out of the way, so your so kids, mom do. kids don't what swing mom from do. it. Yeah. Now this is really cool. So we have this really cool screen that you can choose like from like 20 different themes what you want to do, and um, and I also noticed that you can edit your score. So Shannon and I are both going to bowl a 300 today. What? Yes, that's better than bumpers. All right, you need to go pick a ball. Okay. What size are you using? Uh, eight only because the sevens didn't have holes big enough for my finger. Yeah, yeah. Let's go see what we got for ball selections. Yeah, that'll do. We're gonna use the red 12. It's got big holes in it and easy to throw. Okay, so I'm going first. Are you ready? Yeah. Alright, take us there. Alright. The first one of the day. That's a good warm up. You're not supposed to be on the approach when someone else is out there. Oh, sorry, I'll back up. <laughs> making me nervous. Oh, sorry. That was really bad. Can you edit that out? Nope, nope, that was the first one of the day. Okay, never mind, never mind. Ready? Here we go. And here's the first one of the day. approach at bowling, which works for me. It's, I don't have any stance, I don't have a walk, I have a little bit of a slow walk up to the line and then I just throw it. This is how I do it. Ready? Well, I guess and it works for I you. It. I guess it works for you. It works. That's all it is, and we only bought one warm-up game. Oh well. So there's signs everywhere that the that the lanes are oiled, and like the balls feel super oily. Yeah, they do. They're getting kind of greasy feeling. Good thing we bought one game. A smaller ball. You want to go get one? I can't fit my fingers in the hole. We should bring our own candle pen ball to the big ball bowling. I used to have my own bowling ball. So yeah? I, I don't know what happened to it. I would like to get my own. That I mean, looks... I was a kid, it was a purple goofy. I want to get like a Death Star one. It's your turn. All right. Nicely done. 
now discovered that Shannon's bowling talent is camera shy because as soon as I turned the camera off, she was like knocking all these pins down. And apparently the same for me, because guys, I got two. Yeah, a spare two strikes. Yeah, a spare and two strikes, which that, that doesn't happen for me normally. I really like this bowling alley. I think it's, it's custom fit for us. All right, here we go. I gotta turn the camera off so I'll get another strike. Hey, I got an idea. So my idea is let's make a wager on this game. The winner doesn't have to do dishes for a month. But you're already winning. So, <laughs> do you want to make a wager? <laughs> Alright, I don't know if you can see it, but we just finished our game. 72 for Shannon, 153 for Scott. I, I actually got three strikes. I think three spares? Yep. Yeah, and I got, my last one was almost a strike, so I had a really good game. This is the best game I've had in almost 10 years. It was pretty fun. Yeah. And now Shannon's all warmed up, so she's ready for a second game, but now we're all done. I already feel like my arm's gonna fall off. Mine does too, because we were at the beach yesterday, and then yep. we had the 4th of July last week, so like all the lifting and stuff like that. Anyway, yeah, I am I am totally like so, worn out. let's go play ski ball. Ski ball! So, we just spent 10 bucks to put 40 credits on this card. Yeah. The game takes 5 credits That's, per game. That, when you do the math, this is an expensive skee-ball game. Yeah. So, you put your credits on the card and then your tickets are automatically strong on the card, which is, I think, kind of sad because there's something about that stream of tickets coming out of the machine and just picking them all up. Yeah. Not that I ever get that many tickets, but. No. I used to play Go to the Dream Machine a lot, and I have probably like a thousand or more tickets at home somewhere. Oh, I forgot about that. They're like in a box, and we can never cash those in. Nope. I have a big roll where they like roll them all up. Yeah. You know what? I wonder if we could eBay those, and some like old nostalgic 1980s collector is gonna want a bunch of Dream Machine tickets. I have the coupons too that were like one coupon equaled like a hundred tickets or something like that. Yeah. All right, so ski ball. Okay, swipe to play.
cheated! It's the Star Wars Battle Pod. This is pretty cool. I'm too cheap to put money in it. <laughs> but it's fun to sit inside of it. This is pretty cool, so it's all enclosed. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, so we only spent $10 and we got 40 credits. Now we're going to find out with the games that we played how much we actually got for digital tickets. 36. 76 is our point balance. 76. Yes. <laughs> A Tootsie Roll for 76 points. Let's find out. Okay, this is pretty cool. I really want this. Okay, we got to play a lot of skee ball to get that lamp. It's 4,900. Or, or you could probably just save the money and find it online. I bet you could buy that on Amazon for like 10 bucks. Maybe a little more. Maybe a little more. How many? Oh, look, can you get one of these? You know what? A knobby ball. Okay, here's the thing. We're out on our anniversary date, right? Yeah. And we can get a knobby ball for Ellie. I know, I thought the same thing. <laughs> All right, round one. What's your first impression? Okay, it was super fun. Super fun. Super expensive. Super expensive. You're paying for a so, lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's just a lot of money. So we got $10 worth of credits, plus it was a dollar for the car. Oh, yeah, there's a processing fee. So it's $11 there, and it was about... $14 for the one game of bowling. Yeah, that's so, true. That was for both of us to play with the shoes. It was $14. Yeah, so 25 bucks for one game of bowling, a few, you know, like arcade type games, yeah. and a knobby ball. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It was out of all of those, the only prize we could afford with our points. Yeah, we could have got some candy, but. Yeah, we wanted to get Ellie something though, too. Souvenir for Ellie. Yeah, she'll never um, understand where, where yeah. it's from, but. So, it's from Mommy and Daddy. Yeah. So yeah, it was expensive, but it was fun. I mean, you obviously, you paid that money, and right. all you get is an obby ball, but you get the enjoyment of playing the game, so. Right. So that was fun. Um, so we're gonna go out to lunch now. Yeah. We have, gift cards. We don't have, we have actually money. two Olive Garden gift cards. Yep. So we're gonna use that for lunch, and then we're gonna go see the new Mr. Rogers movie. Let's do it. Okay, so we're at the Olive Garden, and we just ordered off the lunch combo, and Shannon's drinking her favorite peach bellini, right? Raspberry peach bellini. Raspberry peach bellini. It's delicious. Yes. It's just iced tea with a whole lot of syrupy goodness added to it. Mm -hmm. And what did you order? You got soup, salad, and breadsticks. I always get soup, salad, and Like breadsticks. every time, no matter what. Yeah, yeah, and so this time what I got was I got fettuccine alfredo, but like a lunch combo. So I got like just just the salad, not soup. Yeah. So just salad with broccoli added. With yes, because I'm being healthy today, and healthy. so I'm adding broccoli to my fettuccine alfredo, and then we got breadsticks coming too. So just add some extra nutrition. Mm-hmm. That's all. That's all. You gotta add at least not even extra, just a little bit of nutrition on top of all the bad stuff. And then after this, I think, are we are we heading for the movie? I think so. I think so. Actually, we might even have a little bit of time. I'm not sure. Makes we might have to go get a new SD card for my phone. Yeah, Shane, we have bad cell phones. We have really bad <laughs> old mobile phones that keep not crashing. Not I mean, my mom, every time her phone dies, she looks for a new flip phone. Yeah. She likes yeah, that happens with my mom because my mom doesn't understand technology, so every time batteries run out, she has to buy a new item. Oh my goodness. It's true. For the longest time, she wouldn't use the remote control because she was afraid if she missed the TV, she'd start a fire. So, my question is, how many tissues did you go through watching Won't You Be My Neighbor? I didn't bring any tissues. You went to the bathroom though when you got some. I brought a paper towel with me. Yeah, yeah. I understand now why people have said that's an emotional movie. Yeah. It is. Good. It is really, really good. Um, we obviously couldn't bring the camera uh, inside the theater with us, um, but we just went and saw Won't You Be My Neighbor, which if you guys don't know, that's the new documentary that was just released about the life of, of Fred Rogers, Mr. Rogers, who we all grew up on. And uh, it brought back a ton of memories. And it was fun because like seeing, you know, I grew up with Mr. Rogers in the 80s and then going back and seeing like him in the 1960s where he's like young and 
handsome and you know just different you know it was just yeah. seeing him like that but it was so funny because that show never really changed I think I always expect like you know like we're big Doctor Who fans right so you expect the 1963 version of Doctor Who to look completely different than what it has over the last 10 years and yet Mr. Rogers still had Daniel Tiger and Trolley and even the set was it wasn't the same look but you could tell it was like the same house you know so it was so cool to see that and, and get the little testimonies of, of the people he worked with over the years. So um, if you want to go sit, just for just watch something good. If you don't feel like, if you're not in the mood for tons of conflict and you just want to watch a really good story, um, it's it have some conflict. a little bit. Like it, it talked about some of the conflict that he he experienced. But then just watching the way he handled it um, and just what that show meant to everybody. So it was really cool watching it. I recommend going and seeing What You Be My Neighbor. I think you probably would too. Yeah, so definitely if you get a chance if it's playing in a theater near you, go see Won't You Be My Neighbor. It's awesome. And now we need to go pick up Ellie. Yeah, and, uh, and we need to give Ellie her ball. Oh yeah. Yeah, that'll be fun. And then I think we're gonna go take Ellie to a car wash. And then after bedtime, I think we're gonna Instead end of this. Bath, we just bring her to the car wash. Yep, that's what we do. Imagine what would happen if we had a sunroof, how much easier this would be. <laughs> anyway, um, and then I think we're just gonna call it a night and go see a movie at home. Maybe. Yeah. I stay awake. If Shannon stays awake, we'll see how long it takes for Ellie to get to bed. Guys, if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to our channel if you're not a part of our YouTube family yet. Uh, thank you so much for watching this. It was a good day. Good morning. See, I'm tired. Yeah, she's tired. We've had two really good anniversary celebration days before getting back to the usual grind, which was nice. Shannon got to sit in the front seat. That never happens. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. It was always this. Will you sit down with me? Yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, we'll have some more content coming out a little bit later this week. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I have a challenge idea for Shannon, and she doesn't even know what it is yet. So, we'll, oh boy. Yeah, so anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching us. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Uh, make sure to follow us on Instagram at Scott Logan Official, Logan Family Videos, and or Shannon Logan. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye.